June Vare was the voice of our youth. Oh, <laughs> make that voices. Out of the towering talent of this tiny woman came a feisty canary owner, a Boy Scout squirrel, a devious Eastern Block spy, a wondering wide-eyed two-year-old who, a cackling witch, and more plucky heroines and gravelly grandmothers that can be counted. From a cat, to a mermaid, to a murderous talking doll. Nothing was beyond her range. The only thing that could match her artistry as an actress was her dedication and commitment to the industry she so loved. And of course, she created the Annie Awards, which remain animation's top honor, as well as an ongoing tribute to June's foresight 45 years ago. In a life that spanned an entire century, and through a prolific career that is unmatched for its brilliant accomplishment and the sheer number of lives it touched, she somehow left us wanting more. We love you, June. We thank you, and we miss you. But we are so fortunate to have known you. I think I would like to be remembered as a compassionate person who cared about people, animals, the environment, and respect, respect for, for people, and animals, and the environment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 45th Annual Annie Awards. In the category of Outstanding Achievement for storyboarding in a television or broadcast production, the Annie goes to Disney Mickey Mouse, Eddie Tugues. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone at Disney, uh, Paul, Derek, Todd, Edward, Elise, Angie, uh, thank you so much. And the winner is Coco Dean Kelly. I don't want to say that I'm a Celtics fan. I'm from Boston. Go Patriots. Tomorrow, my full, holy smokes. I don't know what, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to say what I want to say, and I thought I could have said it. I got Kobe Bryant, and I got this guy. <laughs> thank you for slowing things down for me, reminding me why I love to do what I do. And I think I have some hairs on her right now. The music's playing, but I get up super early every morning. You know, <laughs> if he was a Laker fan, they would have gave him more time. <laughs> Just saying, just saying, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, and I understand that his storyboards always had to be edited way down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happens, happens. And the Annie goes to Coco Steve. <laughs> Lee Umbridge, Greg Snyder, Tim Fox. Um, thank you to members of ASIFA for this great honor. Thanks also to Darla K. Anderson, Adrian Molina, and Lee Unkrich for giving us the opportunity to work on this magnificent film celebrating the beautiful traditions, culture, and people of Mexico. Asifa Hollywood is putting funds towards ensuring that these important parts of our history will remain alive and vital. This year, we are restoring several 1930s Terry tunes. I love those, including cartoons that haven't been seen in over 85 years, literally. We are funding the restoration of Ub Iwerks' MGM Flip the Frog cartoons. We are making a new print of Ernest Pintoff's Academy Award nominee, The Violinist. Most excitingly for me, we found in the Academy's vaults a negative for a theatrical UPA cartoon that apparently was never released. We are preserving it and creating a new answer print. This is my seventh year standing here giving you a progress report on a sea for Hollywood. Back in my year one, we had only two goals, keeping the doors open, and rehabilitating the Annie Awards, which had fallen on some hard times. I'm happy to say that within a year, we were solvent again, which is a big deal, and after a growing pain or two, the Annie's were on an upswing. That gave us the luxury of tackling more goals, such as restoring films, as Jerry was talking about, educational initiatives, taking a more active part in the community, sponsoring more animation activities, utilizing our archives, and as unrealistic as it sounds seven years ago, thinking about establishing a real animation center.
We finally hired a contractor for the animation center. The first drawings have been done, and we are now getting the proper licenses from the city of Burbank. If all goes as planned, the new state-of-the-art Asifa Hollywood Animation Center and June Foray screening room will become a reality within the next year. And the Annie goes to... Pulls apart, Paloma Visa. Thank you all for making this possible. It's amazing, thank you. <laughs> and the Annie goes to Dear Basketball. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Asifa, um, what an incredible organization to bring so many weird people in animation together. Thank you. Thank you. And the Annie goes to... Coco! Prepared a pretty lengthy speech. Uh, we're going to give you 20 minutes of that elevator music. Um, we just like to say, thank you. <laughs> and the Annie goes to? Coco, Danny Ariaga, Daniela Sevilla, Rick Sykstra, Alonso Martinez, Zarufi. Thank you so much, Lucifa. Um, I wouldn't be here without my wife, Esther, I love you. My kids, Estrella, my baby Cheesy, and my baby Nuggy, who inspired me to help along with Anthony to work on on Coco. I want to thank Darla for uh, uh, allowing us to, uh, she gave us the strength to say that there's not only one standard of beauty, and that was great. Thank you, Darla. First and foremost, we have to thank our artists and animators on this team. Cuphead is the embodiment of their work and their love for the craft. You know, Guillermo uh, would love to have been here tonight, but he's across town hoping to, shall we say, net another prize. That's, that's net because that's how they caught the creatures in Pacific Rim. My and fish. They're fish. Uno mas. Coco, Harley G. Coco is all about honoring those who have inspired us but are no longer with us. I want to dedicate this award to all the beautiful spirits that are out there tonight. Thank you so much. And the Annie goes to Revolting Rhymes. I got to say something. We, we just flew in from a harsh Berlin winter, and yes. being here in the room with you and seeing all of your faces is quite dreamy. So this is, <laughs> this is too much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It means the world to us. Thank you. And the Annie goes to June. Yeah. Ricardo Bermontes, who is fantastic at Lyft, um, just make a short film that just happens to be about ride sharing. I'm here to present this first Windsor McKay Award to James Baxter. James, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> James, I'm going to talk to you while you're off stage, right? All right. James, you're a great animator, man. <laughs> For a lifetime of masterful artistry in the field of animation, I am proud to present Asifa Hollywood's Windsor McKay Award to James Baxter. I just want to say how grateful I feel to have found something to do that I really, really love and really makes me happy. Um, I'm so lucky uh, to have worked with so many great artists and, and uh, to have worked on so many so many great movies. 20 years ago, I got a call to go see a man about a sponge. Uh, the man was Steven Hilleberg, and his sponge wound up conquering the world for creating one of our industry's most <laughs> memorable shows and some of its most memorable characters. I am happy to present a Sifa Hollywood's Windsor McKay Award to my buddy, one of the greatest, uh, nicest human beings, senseis, teachers, artists that it has ever been anyone's pleasure to work with, Steven Hillenberg. <laughs> On behalf of us all under the sea, Steve, I gotta say, aye aye, Captain, you did it! All right! Ah. We are the first duo to receive this award, and people often ask us how we work together. 
and we liken it to the push me pull you of Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> My lovely assistant has the visual aid. We just worked up a quick sketch for today. <laughs> Thank you. I am here to present tonight's award for voice acting. <laughs> and the Annie goes to living legend Tom Kenny. I talked to my mom on the phone today. She's 87 years old. She lives in Syracuse, New York. And she said, those Annie people really know what they're doing. <laughs> so here's what you need to do. Write this down, and I did, on this post-it note that was next to the phone. Here, <laughs> I was writing really fast. You need to go to the Emmy office, bring that Annie trophy with you, put it down on their desk and say, ha! Now, say you Emmy people need to pull your heads out of your asses. Stop being a bunch of ding-dongs. Stop being a bunch of ding-dongs and nominate me for an Emmy. I am long overdue. I am long overdue. And the Annie goes to a future legend, Anthony Gonzalez, Coco. Uh, basically, all the Coco team who was there to support me and be there for me. This award is for you guys. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, hi, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> And the Annie goes to Rick and Morty, Ryan Ridley, Dan Gutterman. First of all, thanks to my mom, who I think figured out how to watch this streaming live. So, hey mom. <laughs> Once again, Justin Roiland, who really, he did almost every voice in the episode, which is pretty incredible. And thanks to this guy, Dan Gutterman. Thank you, everybody. And the Annie goes to Adrian Molina and Matthew Aldrich Coco. Oh, no, this is crazy. I went to school here. I was a playwright in that building right over there studying how to do this. Not this, but this. And I want to say thank you to my family, uh, my mother, my father, my siblings, and my husband, Ryan, for inspiring all the feelings for family in this movie. Love you guys. Thank you. And the Annie goes to We Bear Bear. <laughs> Thank you so much to Steve Hollywood. This means so much to uh, our talented crew. And uh, thank you Cartoon Network for your perfect balance of uh, guidance and freedom to tell a very personal show. And the Annie goes to Rick and Marty. Woo! Can't forget to uh, thank the most important person here tonight, Kent Osborne, my old friend, who I ran into before the show and said, thank me. And I'm doing it right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but thank you, everybody, very much. Thank you. And the Annie goes to the breadwinner. What an Annie. Um, the, oh, my goodness. Most of the people who worked on this film never met each other because we had teams in Ireland, Luxembourg, and Canada with amazing support from the U.S. I would like to thank our executive producers, the wonderful Angelina Jolie, Mimi Paul Gitlin, Jerry Sharon, for believing in this, in this film. Our incredible voice talent, Sarah Chaudhry, Lara Sadik, Ali Badshaw, uh, Kane uh, Mahan, um, Kawa added, just incredible people who, who lent us their, their voices, the Afghan people who allowed us to weave their experiences into the fabric of this film. And the Annie goes to Disney Mickey Mouse. <laughs> And also for creating an amazing community that appreciates art of animation. Thank you, June. Thank you, June Foray. Thank you, everyone. And the Annie goes to Coco. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone who had anything to do uh, with making Coco. Thank you for helping to build bridges instead of walls. Thank you. And the Annie goes to Coco. 
in our story, Miguel pursues his dream of becoming a musician, despite his family's ban on music. As artists, we hope that everybody in this room continues to follow their dreams of creativity, artistry, and making beautiful films, no matter the obstacles that come your way. Thank you so very much.